this brand called King Luan caught my attention. All right, this is particularly a Chinese uh, in-ear monitor. Most likely, previously they have been active uh, within mainland China, but now they are venturing out into the international market. And you can see this King Luan, which is the Z4 model that they are selling there here, priced at 44 US dollar, comes in this nice looking box here. And inside this box, you're gonna find quite a lot of stuff, really. Okay, let's just have a look. Let me just show you, okay, some of the value you're gonna get. So as you can see here, okay, this is the IEM itself. I already have it with me here, attached to my Valkinas cable here. And I will talk more, why is it using Valkinas cable? Okay, so the key feature of this Z4, as you can see here, for 44 US dollar, you're gonna get these three different type of ear tips, all right? So namely, the way I look at it, this is the soft silicon white bore ear tip, or should I say normal bore ear tip, and this is the denser, thicker silicon tip, which is a narrow bore. And this uh, special kind of a uh, hybrid uh, ear tip, which is uh, unique to uh, Z4 or King Luan. Okay. And of course, you're going to see also these two nozzle, a pair of uh, tuning nozzles. So yes, this IEM Z4 comes with detachable tuning nozzle, pretty much similar to Syngod or even some Hedis model. So let's just talk a bit more on the accessories because whatever that I am, I will be covering after this relates a lot to how you accessorize this uh, Z4 because it will actually impart or should I say influence the sound. So let's talk about the cable itself. Okay, first it comes with this SPC type cable which you're gonna find inside this uh, very nice carrying case. Okay, and as you can see here, okay, it is definitely SPC, silver plated copper and I am not using it and I was just simply gonna share it to you right now because after spending quite a bit of time, okay, I have found that this uh, Z4 will sound better, all right, when attached to this uh, copper cable. Any copper cable, but in this instance, of course, I use my own cable, which is AA V Valkinas. The general classification for this uh, Z4, I would classify it as being analytical IM. In fact, I would even say that now, it is quite comparable to this my long time favorite of mine, which is Atimotic ER2XR here. Okay, this one. Okay, and when I say being analytical, it means that you know the tuning composition of this Z4 pretty much would be like something which can resolve quite a bit of resolution when it comes to macro detail and micro detail, similar to Atimotic uh, ER2 series. Okay, and by that reckoning, it also can be a bit more of let's say because being analytical, it focus emphasize a bit more on the upper frequency. So this is where the tuning filter comes in. Okay. And at the end of the day, I have opted to choose to just use the stop filter, which is the one with the denser form, because I need to do a bit of suppression with the mid-range, upper mid-range, all the way to the treble, because I find that using the other filter, which is the one with the least amount of uh, density of form, can be a bit uh, too energetic or even bright in the upper frequency. So just remember that those two tuning filter will determine the output itself, especially when it comes to resolution, energy and brightness of the upper frequency. Okay, and then the tip itself. After spending quite a bit of time with these three different tips, okay, I actually spend quite a bit of time at the end of the day using the narrow bore, the harder silicon type tips here. Okay, because when I use the white bore here, it releases too much of the upper frequency to a point that it becomes sibilant. Okay, yes. And the pina seems to be kind of, kind of a bit too strong for my liking. And I would say that these special tips which uh, Z4 include, the one which is slightly kind of a like middle between narrow and white ball, all right? It is a bit okay, all right? Not too uh, sharp sounding, or but, but it did, does sound crisper, all right? But not as sibilant as the one which is the white ball here. And finally, I settle on the on the narrow bore, bore tip, and the reason for that is that because finally I was able to tune the upper frequency to a point that I would consider as not being too sharp or too forward sounding or too energetic, and it does brings up a bit, you know, emphasis on the lower frequency and also the overall richness of the sound density itself. So, in order to get the best of this Z4, at least for my usage. Alright, for my preference, using narrow bore, 
hard silicone tip works for me. It might work differently for you depending on your taste and preference. And then of course the cable itself. Okay, I already mentioned earlier that there's similarity between this Z4 and this Atimotic series. Okay, which means that being analytical, being resolving, being highly detailed. Okay, and uh, using the SPC cable, you might want to use it if you are a detail junkie. It releases quite a lot of resolution and imaging and details to it. But also in that process, it becoming kind of a bit lean sounding, at least to my ear. It also sounded a bit too analytical and less musical. And the overall body, the, the, the presentation of the energy, especially when it comes to upper frequency, is kind of a bit emphasized. So usually in that kind of scenario, if you're familiar with you know this component swapping to tune your, your listening device using copper component, can help with that situation and last but not least driving this z4 okay you see here i have tested this z4 with different type of listening partner the source itself so first i use my phone which is sony xperia mark one and because this z4 seems to me like you know kind of like a bit power hungry as i would say it it does you know sound a bit you know subdued not as analytical or not as resolving when attached to something which is under one VRMS or one VRMS and below. But, all right, the beauty of this Z4 started to be projected or should I say emphasize when I scale it up using something like this FIO Q15. I would even say that at this present moment, the best kind of output which I'm getting from this Z4 comes from this uh, Q15. BBFC6 here, all right, which is already rich and natural sounding. And of course, my latest favorite here, which is EPZ TP50 with slow PC filter. Okay. And when I attach it to a, something like, you know, FIO BTR15, which is flatter sounding, or even this Burson Audio Playmate 2, which is already exceedingly super analytical. And my Burson Audio Playmate 2 here is my reference when it comes to being analytical is kind of like overbearing at times. You know, the way it emphasizes the sound, the details and everything, kind of like the sort of, yes, there is detail there. I know there is detail. It's just like too upfront. Okay. So the best way to tone it down is that to choose the Synergy partner properly. Something which is, you know, capable of introducing more organic element to it because natively this Z4 is already analytical and bright. When we talk about the energy itself, it is, it is something which I would consider as being, you know, very bold sounding, okay, with the way it presents the, the dynamics, the way it presents the sound itself. You know, you can clearly hear crispness to the sound notes, to the texture and the, the definition overall, anywhere from upper frequency, mid-range to the lower frequency. And the energy itself is something which I would consider as being mature, okay? It does not sound overly euphonic, okay? It sounds, you know, very well balanced once you tune it properly, okay? With the kind of accessory and the driving partner that you have, okay? And then, when we talk about the upper frequency, I already mentioned this thing is being energetic. So you can expect, if you are treble head, you're gonna love this Z4, especially if, you use the nozzle which offers the least amount of resistance with the acoustic dampening, okay? But if you are treble sensitive and you still want to use Z4, then you might want to consider using narrow bore tips and also using the denser, the thicker density uh, filter. And what will happen is that it will introduce a bit of organic balance to the upper frequency. The suitability of this Z4 will depend on the music genre that you listen to. For example, I have noted that it is suitable for classical, instrument, jazz, pop, blues, or even monitoring. And the reason that I'm putting it is that because there's precision, there's accuracy, and there's transparency with the way it presents the mid-range itself, you know. For example, when I listen to Vivaldi, which is Spring, Allegro number no. 1, this classical music, I was simply mesmerized with the kind of attack that this Z4 was able to emit. It was so fast with the transient itself, you know. The, the accuracy of the sound note, the pace, the rhythm, the momentum of the sound note, the attack of the multiple violin and even harpsichord sounded so just, you know, pristine. So that is the best way to enjoy classical music, especially if you love instrument. And pretty much the, the same can be said when you listen to technical jazz or even instrumental music. But not so much if you listen to something which is a bit more aggressive, something like rock and metal. Moving on to the upper frequency, 
pretty much similar to the way I described the mid-range. It depends also on how you tune it with the sort of filter that you have. Okay, the characteristic of this Z4 being analytical and resolving with the upper frequency, it is crisp. Okay, focus a bit more on crispness rather than smoothness. So you can expect the sort of decay which it will offer is the kind which is very well pronounced more on the macro detail and a bit of micro detail depending on which partner you attach it to. If you love Big Bass or if you love Harman type of sort of tuning, then you would find that this Z4 underwhelming because it does not focus too much on the sub bass. It focuses a bit more on the mid bass. And I will admit it is close to neutral target, but still when compared against this Atimotic ER4 or should I say ER2XR here, this is less bassy, okay? This is just slightly a bit more elevated with the bass itself. So it is close enough to neutral, but not exactly neutral. The bass itself being fast and tidy, and it offers similar kind of approach, being crispy rather than smooth. Compared against the rest of the competition in the market right now, which is kind of like really fierce, you have every sort of tuning being offered. And these are some of the IM which I have tested recently and some IM which I have rated previously. I am showing you some of them just for reference purposes. So overall, I would say that this Z4 is an impressive IM, okay, for the price ask, considering that you get a lot of tuning option and everything. But it does suffer a bit on the element of synergy, power and versatility because I do not think that this Z4 is suitable for all kind of music. You have to be specific. This is the kind of IM when you want to use or when you demand resolution, imaging, precision, or even for monitoring purposes. And it is also not forgiving when it comes to listening to low resolution sources. For example, if you listen to YouTube music or even listen to certain, you know, tidal music, which offer the kind of mastering which is so-so, then you're going to get, you know, the kind of sound which is less satisfying. I would say that, you know, it will reveal artifact whatever imperfection that you get in the music itself. So when it comes to that, definitely I score that very high when it comes to certain technical aspect of it as compared to the rest of the competition. But when it comes to tone and timbre, it is fairly okay, especially if you tune it properly. And let's just have a look at some of the comparison. Perhaps uh, it is best for me to mention how does it compare to Syngold EA500LM or even Caffeine Del C, okay, which seems to me the one that's highly popular right now. I can safely say that between the three of them, this Z4 offer a bit more of technical prowess when it comes to resolution, imaging, and also uh, the openness of the sound stage itself. But this Z4 is not as appealing when it comes to tone and timbre, and also the richness and the density of the sound itself. In short, EA500LM and Del C sounds a bit more musical, a bit more relaxed, and a bit more pleasing to the general masses but this z4 is a bit more specific if you need again the keyword here resolution and being analytical z4 present an option for those seeking analytical resolving and highly detailed im without break spending so much money on something like this atimotic er2xr or even er4sr so i would just say that if that is your preference go for this z4